day. By now, the drivers will be feeling exhausted and every little rattle and vibration will feel like it's major. Where are we heading today? We're heading to Rotorua. First stage, SS43, a nice public road stage to start the day. Across the road, SS44, anything could happen in here. A short roadside service, head up to SS45, there's eight bridges and two cattle stops negotiated in this stage. Down along, SS46, very similar to the last one, but 38 k's long, heading to Matawai for the lunchtime service. After lunch, the drivers then head down to SS47. This stage has 31 cautions, so they're going to have to be uh, careful in this stage. Short service, and then they head to the Mighty Motu. An awesome stage, very iconic, very twisty, using the WRC and NZRC rounds. Once they've finally completed this stage, they will then head to Rotorua for the final check-in for the event. So if you thought that was tough, let's talk to Jim Scott who sat beside Ari Varton back in the 70s. How was it back then, Jim? Yes, well we did all those stages in the night time. They're all joined together in a 100 kilometre stage and we started fourth and came in first after passing three works fiats on the way. Uh, fantastic time. Enjoyed every second of it and he didn't tip it over in these stages. So what was it like sitting beside Ari Vartanen? Well, you know, it's excitement from go to woe. We started out in, uh, in Wellington and from then on it was accident after accident and, uh, but we never ever ever made it so that the car wasn't usable. <laughs> Some pretty special times. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it still keeps cropping up all the time and the number plate that was on the car is now sort of world famous. So Mike, it's, it's been a big week. Your leading challenge, how have you found it so far? Uh, it's been awesome, yeah. Uh, seven days of rallying, it's been fantastic and one to go, so we just want to get to the end now. So what have you got to be careful about today? I just don't want to make any silly mistakes or, or put the car over the edge or anything like that. We just want to drive, drive smooth and fast and get to the end. Did you expect you might be in this position when you started the rally? Uh, no, no. We had a bit of a plan which we've sort of stuck to, but we didn't think we'd end up where we are, no. So Matthew, it's been a big week. You're leading historics. How's your week been? Challenging, Derek. Uh, when we started the week, you know, when you've got eight days, seven, eight days in front of you, and then we go into some of the stages we did, and you see how twisty and tight they were, you, you would, you'd question whether you, your car or yourself would make it to the end. You know, the corners we've been round, um, there's always one to catch you out, as we found as well. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, to be at day eight and in the lead is probably above and beyond where we thought we'd be. So what are you going to watch for today? Well, the clock mainly. Um, I'm not bothered if we give away a little bit, but we don't want to give away too much because we've got, you know, in case we have a punch or something like that. But um, yeah, no, we, I think we can afford to give them a little bit on each stage and try and wheel it home first if we can. Um, and it'd be brilliant if we could. I'd be highly delighted. Oh.